Isn't she lovely? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll spare you guys that. I'm Bren. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. I'm really excited to be sharing the uh, new Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette with you guys. This is the box that she came in. This is the packaging. I love it. It It's kind of a, oh, what does that feel like? Um, Like canvas bag. Uh, that's what it feels like to me. It's it's different. I really like it. It it screams spring and summer to me, and that's why I had to have it. <laughs> Do I need another palette? No, <laughs> definitely not. But these colors, you guys, they just they brought me back to life, really, honestly. And I was like, oh, I want to put those on my eyes and and you know just be creative and and um, the bright colors just make me think spring and summer we're almost there but we've just got a few you know a few weeks yet here in Wisconsin anyway to get there so I'm so excited to try out all these colors you guys I'm just gonna show you the palette haven't used any of these colors yet take off the plastic comes with a brush of course they always do look at that my friends isn't she a beauty? So I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use the brush that came with the palette. I forget sometimes that not everybody has, you know, this big collection of, of makeup brushes like I do. And, you know, uh, I thought this way it'd be nice to just show you guys how you can create a look just using the brush that came with the palette. If you're considering the palette, um, you know, you can you can do some cr really great looks just using this brush here. It's got it's a double ended brush. I do think we can make this work. So first thing I'm going to do is just read a little bit about the palette from the Anastasia Beverly Hills website. Uh, she says, set sail with 14 all new paradise inspired mattes and metallics from vibrant jewel tones to bright pops of color. Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette is an essential springtime color collection featuring classic neutrals and seasonal tones that are perfect for creating your ultimate vacation looks. So this palette retails for $45, you guys. There's 14 pans of eyeshadow in this palette. They are, I believe, 0.73 grams per pan. Uh, so that equals out to about $3.22 a pan. I am going to go ahead and uh, show you guys some swatches that I did earlier right now. All right, and this is what the ABH website has to say about the shadows. The full pigment powder formula delivers high color payoff and intensity, contains 14 all new shades and pressed pigments with eight ultra mattes, four metallics, and two duochromes. Wide shade range allows you to create everything from cool and warm tone neutral looks to daring bright eye looks, shimmering glam looks, and bold smoky eyes includes a dual-ended brush and a large mirror housed inside travel-friendly packaging. Same packaging as Anastasia Beverly Hills always has. Same size, everything, uh, same mirror, same brush, um, so those are consistent. Cruelty-free, paraben-free, gluten-free, and dermatologist tested. So this is our mirror, guys. We are going to go ahead, like I said, and use the brush that came in with the palette. So I always like it when the uh, cover bends all the way back. That's just a preference, but I always like it when that when it does that. So I can just hold the palette and um, and get to work. So we're going to go ahead and dip right into the color Estate, and I'm going to be using the fluffier end of the brush. Definite kick up. Let you guys see that here. Definitely some kick up. Um, uh, I've noticed that with all of her palettes, it doesn't bother me at all because I really enjoy using her shadows. Place that right in, this, in and above the crease. Go ahead and define that area. And then we're gonna go in with Bahamas and I'm going to use the flatter end 
of the brush for that because I'm actually going to go ahead and just pack that onto my lid. I'm going to start on the outer edge of my lid. So I'm just packing the color Bahamas right on the outer half of my mobile lid up into the crease just a little bit. Then I'm going to take the uh, other end of the brush again. No product this time. Cleaned it off just a little bit and I'm just going to blend that out. Just don't want any harsh lines. It's really different working with this brush guys. But it works nicely. The brushes that come in her palettes are actually quite nice in my opinion. The next color that's calling my name is the color Seychelles. Uh, they have it listed as a metallic aquamarine. Uh, it's gorgeous. I love it so much. I'm going to go ahead and use that same uh, flatter end of the brush here. We're going to see how that works with the brush. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. I feel like in the pan, in the palette, it looks really understated. But on the eye, I feel like it looks really, uh, really nice. Really pretty. Much more, um, much more vibrant, I think, on the eye than it looks in the pan. Really pretty. I love it. Then going into uh, the color Palm, this dark brown in here, I'm going to go ahead and use the flatter end of the brush again. I'm going to go ahead and put that as close to my lower lash line as possible. Then once again, I'm going to go in with the fluffier side and I'm going to go ahead and pick up the color Bahamas. Bring everything together. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little more of the Bahamas color on the uh, flatter end of the brush again and deepen things up a little more on the outer edge or the outer V, whatever you call it. And then I'm going to go back in with the color Estate and I'm going to go ahead and use the fluffy part of the brush again. I don't have much on here, just a tiny bit and just blend everything out on the edges here. Soften everything up. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and brighten things up a little bit, grabbing the color Sales, this matte white color. I'm going to grab that on the flat end of the brush. Oh, that's a very pigmented white. I love that. Go ahead and highlight the brow bone just a little bit right there at the highest point. And a little bit on the inner corner. Make that even brighter yet. Loving the pinks, loving the purples loving all of it. I love it all. <laughs> I love every single color in here. To me it's very reminiscent of all the other ABH palettes. Um, you know some kick up in the pans as usual. The shades are soft but I don't find them chalky. Uh, they do get a little bit messy in the pans but you know other than that they're I think they're amazing. They blend out beautifully for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my other eye, try to get it to match and <laughs> I'll be back in just a little bit you guys. Alright guys, so I am back. I put a little bit of fake awake in my uh, waterline 
added some mascara and some falsies and I'm calling it done. So you guys, I love this palette. I absolutely adore the color story. I um, I love the uh, beautiful bursts of color in this palette as well as the kind of more classic mattes, uh, matte neutrals. You know, you could actually do a really nice neutral look with this palette as well. I feel like it's very uh, non-limiting. I think that, you know, this would be actually a really good travel palette. That white, the color sails, it's a really matte white. It is super pigmented, you guys. You know, I give this palette a thumbs up. There is that kick up in the pan, of course, which I find to be pretty typical of ABH palettes, for, of her formula. Doesn't bother me at all. Very minimal fallout with these. A very, very pigmented, uh, really great color payoff with each color. Yeah, for me, it's worth $45. I I love the ABH palettes anyway. I typically love them. Uh, I've yet to have one that I don't enjoy using. Um, always reach for these. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I almost always reach for the ABH palettes when I do, you know, the hooded eyes videos uh, um, and other and many other videos too. I just they're just my go-to formula. They're my go-to palettes. I love them. I'm super excited. I'm hoping that she doesn't come out with any more anytime soon because I can't afford any more palettes right now. But that being said, I'm really going to enjoy this palette. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it this summer. So I just wanted to bring it to you. I wanted to show you guys this look. I really wanted to do this because there's so many gorgeous colors in here. It just screamed to me, you know, spring, summer, colorful, sundresses, um, warm weather, walks, you know, swimming, picnics, barbecues, family, friends. It's just, yeah, all of those things. With all that said, you guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial using the Anastasia Beverly Hills a Riviera palette. I love it. I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you carving a little time out of your busy day to spend this time with me. I love you guys so much. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, would you please give it a thumbs up? Hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. Also, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as part of the Brunz Beauty Boutique family here on YouTube. I adore all of my subscribers, my family, and if you click on that little bell next to the subscribe bar, you will get notifications every time I upload a new video, and I would really love to have you guys here again. Thank you so much for joining me, my friends. I love you so much. Uh, I will see you soon. Have a beautiful day.